If we take a look at our computer screen, you can see that I have it uh, monitoring the status of the data. If I press the switch, for instance, the cookies over here, you can see that the cookie turns on, but the light does not turn on because we don't have any product in there. If we look at our vendor, here we have an up-down counter that counts uh, with how much product is in there. So if I turn the vendor switch on, and you'll see right here, the vendor switch is on, and I hit the cash in button, and then you'll see the count going up on our product. Let me move this back a little bit so you can see that. Anyway, we have four products in there, and then when I turn my vending switch off, then it's ready to dispense product. And go back up here. Here's our money counter. So my customer puts the money in there and there the cash in switch turns on. Counter goes up to one, two, three, four. When that counter reaches four, then of course the, the money in light turns on, which is right there, Wi-Fi. So now I choose a product. So if I choose one product, the cookie, now you see I have a sealant circuit here and the cookie is chosen. But notice I have all the other switches here. So if I, I choose uh, the next one, chips X1, that actually turns off this one and then completes the circuit for the chips light. Same thing with the M&Ms. If I hit that one, then it turns the other one off. It turns all the ones off except that one. So now I've chosen the M&Ms, and the money is there, and let's take a look at the dispense. <clears throat> so I hit the dispense button here, and then uh, I also have my product chosen. So once I hit that dispense button, then the dispense OK turns on and seals in that circuit, and then that starts the timer. And here the t here's the dispense timer, and here's my dispense motor. And then when the pro when it's finished, then it turns off the product light. It turns the money counter back to zero, and um, st and resets the dispense timer. So now it's ready for the next product. And notice here that I have three products left. And so if I have more than a, a greater or equal to one product, then it will allow me to to choose a button. If there isn't, and let's just do this, let's just put our money in and dispense. Now our product count went down to two. Put some more money in, dispense. I chose soda this time, and now we have one product left, and we'll choose one more. Let's do the chips, and put our money in. See our money counter down here turning up. Once the money's in there, then I can dispense it. And now I'm out of product, so now I can no longer choose because this blocks the flow to the cookie light, etc. And so that's how everything works. And the vendor switch, of course, resets everything and is ready to refill the dispenser. And due to the limitation, we only have 100 words available. I could not put like separate products. I started that, but then I ended up with too much. And I didn't want to spend $400 for the program just so that I could you know, make this a little bit better. But this is, this is our product, and it uh, works really good. And uh, it does not allow someone to put money in if there is no product and won't dispense the product if there's no product, etc. Thank you.